This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? Today we're gonna try a Neo ES8 with 75 kilowatt hour battery. This is somewhat rare. Most people they go for the 100 kilowatt hour battery and bus, but here this car also has bus and a battery as a service where you can battery swap, but only 75 kilowatt hour. So I want to know how many kilowatt hour is available because in the 100 kilowatt hour pack i can only get well at least i got 86 kilowatt hour initially and then after some years it actually degrades and then you get less than that but here how much is it out of those 75 kilowatt hour net capacity how much do you actually get here and also i heard that this battery charges pretty fast supposedly around 145 kilowatt even faster than the 100 kilowatt hour pack that usually hovers around 115 ish kilowatt only so it's like the Ionic of Neo, kind of. So now I'm charging it up again. Unfortunately, this is a pretty old car. It existed in China for a long time before it arrived in Europe. So it doesn't have three-phase charging. So I'm now charging it up uh, via that Wally box over there. So it was at 100% uh, several days ago. But now that I got in here and I was planning on driving, I saw that it has dropped to 97%. So it seems like it self drains a little bit to while I just park here, just like a Tesla. But in five minutes, and then it should finish. And then you see here, 25 amp, that's single phase. It doesn't tell me how many phases it's charging at, but uh, soon enough, it should finish. So the odometer here is irrelevant. Uh, where do we find, you find it? Um, I don't even know. Yeah, it's, it's here. Um, you have to click on this. And okay, maybe not when we are charging, but uh, we can see the odometer, but it's irrelevant since we have battery swap. So it, it's just in the pool with a bunch of other 75 kilowatt hour batteries. Okay, we're on the move, just the standard stuff going at 90 kilometers per hour on the GPS speed. So yeah, despite being an old car, this is still a nice and comfortable ride and plenty of space. Let me see if I can show in the back if I turn on lights here and then this and then... Well, actually the interior light is a bit dim and also the, the cabin is uh, i mean the, the interior is dark so but yeah nice car okay some beeps yeah i mean it's still a chinese car after all but uh, now you can see that uh, the odometer is 12,000 kilometers it's totally irrelevant since this car has battery swap but uh, since there are not that many 75 kilowatt hour packs out there maybe these packs they don't get that much wear and tear Oh, I forgot they closed the road here, the main road, E6, for three days. They're going to tear down the bridge, the same bridge that collapsed uh, further. No, where was it again? Yeah, I think that was the one at the uh, EA. So, okay, I'm not going to bother driving the slow detour. I'll just turn around and then head downtown instead. We are now down to 90% and we have spent 6.7 kilowatt hours. So if the state of charge scale is linear, it should point towards that we have around 67 kilowatt hour net capacity. Hmm. We'll see. And we have done only 27.5 kilometers. So, yeah, around 275 kilometers of range. Uh, all right, let's go deeper and find out more. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I just trying to find lanes. We are now in Arnabru, and over here we have 80% battery left. And then 13.6 kilowatt hour used. So, still around. What is this? 6.8 kilo, uh, 68 kilowatt hour maybe. Okay, we just turn around. Now we're heading north again. Uh, this is kind of boring route back and forth, but it's efficient, uh, fairly fast. So I can cruise at 90 all the way. So I'll just drive back to Darl again. Uh, seems like each loop might consume almost 50 percent battery. Mm, yeah, okay, okay. We just passed Yesheim, which is uh, near our starting position, and we have done 102 kilometers so far. And then we have consumed 23.7 kilowatt hours. That means that the consumption is around, uh, I don't know, 220 watt hour per kilometer, roughly. This consumption is the, for the last 100 kilometer. Okay, 234 then. Mm. Okay, this car is a bit thirsty, but it is a big car. It is way bigger than, uh, for example, Fat e-tron or Model Y or even the Model X. So yeah, now we're down to 65%. Uh, it's gonna take a while. We are getting close to Dahl now. So um, yeah, <sighs> I'm getting tired, man. Okay, whatever. I have to do what I have to do. 
bridge is turned around at dawn. Now we're heading back downtown again. And uh, at 60% battery, we have spent 27.7 kilowatt hour. Seems like we have around 69 kilowatt hours so far. All right, okay, that's good. And then here I'm going to show you that in the battery section here, we have the on route battery warm up, which is preheating before fast charging, but also manual battery warm up. When I try to click this, it says no need to warm up battery. Okay, uh, seems like maybe the battery is at around 20 or 25 degrees Celsius, which should be good for uh, good enough for the optimal charging. So uh -huh. now the quest continues to find out more. We are almost done with the test now, and we have 5% battery left. And interesting, we see that the remaining power is claimed to be around 350 kilowatts. Also, if we go here to the um, uh, driving settings here, custom, all right, you see that you can configure the car to get 4.9 second uh, acceleration, zero to 100. So it seems like you can get the, f the same power in the small battery as in big battery. Okay, 66.8 kilowatt hour used so far. We have 1% left, five kilometers of range left. The power limit is dropping. We're gonna go uphill now towards Dahl. Oh, okay, let's see. We see that the power limit keeps dropping and dropping now when we go uphill. So uh, this is time to pull out. But at least it's not going below 100 kilowatt, right? Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, we go as deep as possible. We are now at Ionity and we have consumed 67.2 kilowatt hour with 1% left. And I calculate that we have 67.9 kilowatt hour. That's actually pretty good. And then you see distance at 282.8 kilometer. That equals to 238 watt hour per kilometer. Whoa. <laughs> and it's not that cold outside. It's 15 degrees Celsius on there. Okay, let's plug in and see what kind of speed we get. All right, it's ramping up 125 kilowatts. Ooh. Oh, slow ramp up. But uh, okay, I'm gonna start uh, recording this. I'll have to charge it 10% first. Hmm, doesn't seem like it hit that high speed, but at least it seems to be faster than the 100 kilowatt hour pack. Well, that didn't last too long. We are at 102 kilowatt now. Um, okay, seems like charging not near strongest point. Well, at least it has fairly flat curve. It maintained 103 kilowatt until 60%. Now it seems like it's not throttling. Okay, at 70%, we are taking 73 kilowatt. And that took about half an hour. Yeah, from one to 70%. Last checkpoint at 82%, we're taking 50 kilowatt and it took 38 minutes. Okay, it's a bit weird why last time uh, consumption was lower despite that it was cold. Maybe because I did it in the daytime, I'm not sure. But I mean, it's roughly there, you know, it's still a thirsty beast from the east. But uh, interesting, you know, the big battery pack is 100 kilowatt hour gross capacity and roughly 85% of that is net capacity, kind of high buffer, right? But then the small pack, the 75 pack, roughly 90% of that is uh, available energy you can use. And also, uh, the, the smaller pack charges uh, roughly the same speed in kilowatt, which means the C rating is higher on the smaller pack. So it seems to me like uh, it's a, like a hidden gem. And also in the table, you see that uh, this 75% range, what it actually means is that uh, I measure how long it takes to charge from 10 to 75%, or so 65% of that in the range and then how long does it take so the smaller pack takes shorter time to fill up that battery and also the the kilometers per hour is based on that uh, span and you see that the, even though we have a smaller battery uh, the physics say that uh, it should have a lower charging speed but uh, you actually get roughly the same charging speed so which means that in a 1000 kilometer challenge if we didn't use battery swap in the long run okay if we don't count the uh, detour time it takes to stop the charger the small pack should be able to keep up with the big pack huh? so it's like is it, you get the better bang for the buck to get the smaller or the, the, the cheaper bus deal. But it seems like most people, they go for 100 kilowatt hour. And I can't understand because like with Tesla now, it is a thirsty car. So uh, with a small pack, you get somewhat short range. It's similar to, let's say, a fat e-tron 50. Yeah. So 
But okay, at least you know now that it's uh, available to get the smaller pack and it might be a good one for you. So that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.